Hey everyone, this is Matt, and in today's video, or this video, we're going to be doing a deck matchup um, that utilizes the deck list that I recently uh, showed, um, which is the one with uh, the Red Eyes Inside, the Trench Tribute, etc. Right. So this matchup, in my opinion, is actually the hardest uh, matchup, uh, in my opinion, in the current meta for Dark Magician, and that's Invoke DP. And the reason I think it's the hardest matchup is because they have so many outs for Dragoon, like uh, Florida Lee can negate Dragoon, or Florida Lee can crash into Dragoon, like uh, Mechaba can negate Dragoon, Mechaba can at uh, attack into Dragoon with Alistair. Uh, of course, this is all like assuming, you know, the Dragoon negate is baited, but like, th because there's so many outs, like, it's very easy to, um, like negates, uh, or it's very easy to like bait the negate and then like use one of the follow-ups. Like, uh, Shadal Schism um, summons a fusion monster, and uh, you know if it they summon a dark monster, then they can send dragoons to the graveyard. Like invoke Algodius can gain attack to attack over dragoon, um, and if they have magical meltdown on the field, um, then Schism will be uh, like unnegatable, right? So, a lot of outs to Dragoon. Um, it's, it's, in my opinion, the hardest matchup. So in this match, obviously, like, you only see two games here. We do 2-0, but only because we kind of have, like, a god hand in both games. Um, and maybe you could argue that the they misplayed in game two. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it, it's interesting. Uh, but, so let's get started. Alright, so... Here we have, we open a Red Eyes Insight, uh, Red Eyes Fusion, right? So right, right off the bat, like, our play here is going to be to hard play Red Eyes Fusion. And if they have Ash, we could attempt to bait Ash via Red Eyes Insight, right? Um, so let's see their hand. Uh, so their hand is, is, is pretty good. Uh, terraforming gets them the Alistair package. Uh, Obviously, they have a bunch of like Dogmatica stuff. They can go into the Dogmatic engine. They have a Fusion Destiny to end on to potentially end on uh, you know uh, um, DPE. Like they don't you know yeah uh, Ecclesia locks out of the extra deck, but she could, they could cha choose to not activate the effect because they maybe prefer to get this instead. Um, and then they'll have Florida Lee in hand for follow up. So yeah, uh, they have pretty good plays. Now here, so here's the thing. let's let's quickly go over their their deck. To see what hand traps they have, so they have Ash. Okay, that stops Red Eyes Fusion. They have Imp. They have Imperm. They have Nibiru. They obviously have Droll and Lockbird. So they don't have Valor. Yeah. So I guess Imperm can stop Anaconda, and Ash can stop Red Eyes Fusion. So this in this deck. Um, he does not have like all those other effect negators that I, I talked about in my in my other video. Um, but still, like you should play assuming that they do, right? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna play Red Eyes Insight, grab my Red Eyes Fusion, sending Wyverns to the graveyard. He draws me, but at this point it doesn't matter. I play Red Eyes Fusion. So real quick thing about Dark Magical Circle. So because of draw, you cannot use Dark Magical Circle to add a card from uh, from the top three to your hand. But you can still use it to look at, you can still activate it to look at the top three cards. Because the adding part is optional, right? It's actually optional. Um, the only mandatory part of Dark Magic Circle's effect is looking at the top three, right? And then uh, reordering them however you wish. Uh, so yeah, I won't be able to add anything, but I can still look at the top three. So I do. And just so y'all are aware of what the top three is... Um, so my the top three ended up being Magician Souls, Magical Ice Fusion, and Eagle Booster. So I definitely have follow up for the following turn, right? I have Rod in hand, um, right? So I, I can go into Anaconda, and then like bring, you know send Magical Ice across, bring out Second Dragoon. So I have follow up plays for the next turn, or worst case, like I send uh, Souls. Well, you'll see. But basically, the point is pretty good top. Uh, yeah, it goes in match is a great card and this this is just more showcasing why it's great alright so he's gonna open with Ecclesia 
So he's because he's trying to bait my dragoon again. I'm not gonna fall for it. He does. She, he chooses to not activate Ecclesia's effect. Tries to bait um, dragoon negate again with terraforming, uh, to grabbing meltdown right, um, which will you know because he he already has Alistair in hand. So all this is just you know trying to bait dragoon negate. He has Flirtily in hand. Always be patient. Be patient, right? Especially since I know I uh. I, since I have goals in match, like, as soon as I see this, well, check this out. So he's going to grab the Alistair. And as soon as, on resolution, I flip goals in match, and he's locked into light monsters, right? And you might think, well, uh, what about, um, you know, Ecclesia? Can Ecclesia just crash into Dragoon, kill itself, and then, uh, and then you know, maybe go into Alistair on main phase 2? Uh, so, recall Ecclesia says, cannot be destroyed by battle with the monster special from the extra deck. So, it's actually impossible <laughs> for them to get rid of this Ecclesia. So, basically, they have to stick to lights. So, and well, that means that Fusion Destiny is dead. The Alices are dead. The only play he has left is uh, attempt to, you know, negate Dragoon and attack it with Florida Lee. But as soon as I see that activation, I'm like, yep, this is the point to negate. I obviously discarded the Rest Fusion because it was, you know, uh, like, you know, discard fodder at this point. Um, so I beat that, and then he has no choice but to end phase on my turn. Uh, obviously, I'm going to pop, pop Ecclesia. I'm going to summon Rod. Rod will serve Soul Servants. Soul Servant will send DM Girl. And I'll summon the Dark Magician because I, I want to attack for game here. Uh, and then Dark Magicals are just going to banish this Meltdown just because I can. So if for whatever reason he had something that prevented me from like killing him this turn, um, my main phase two follow up would be Soul Servant will obviously add, uh, um, uh, you know, Salvation, um, and then I'll I'll get a draw two, so I'll get another card, a Salvation on Eternal Soul, um, and since I'm locked in the goes and I can't actually link Dark Magician into anything, unfortunately, but uh, that's okay, because I'll, I'll still have, like, yeah, and, and then I guess Eternal Soul wouldn't be able to revive. Yeah, well, well whatever, like, yeah, the, I'm, I'm in a very strong position, like, you, I, I don't think there's anything he could do to stop my battle phase at this point. So, yeah, so, anyway, uh, swing, attack for game. Alright, so very straightforward. Um, so let's go into the, uh, side decking before I get into the next next one so side decking okay so what I end up doing is because I assume that I'm going to be going second I strike his prison's gone because uh, invoke DP is a deck with a lot of different um, monster types so it's really hard to get a monster with the same type and even if you like banish Alistair like invocation can recycle Alistair so from the banish pile so you know I strike prison not not that good uh, what else did I take? I take out Gozen Match. Even though it won me the first game, uh, I feel like it's not going to be as useful in game like going second, because if they if they put out DPE, um, you know they'll just like pop it. If they don't put out DPE, if, if they stick to a mech, if they put get, bring out Mechaba, uh, you know Dogmatica cards, those are all light, so it's not going to do anything anyway. Like best case is like oh if they do Schism and and Summon Winda like. I, I guess I could make them choose between like hold it, you know darks or lights, and then they'll they'll definitely keep Mecha Butt and like the Dogmatica stuff. So uh, yeah, goes match going second, no bueno. Um, cars. So yeah, in these four slots, I put in uh, mind mind control uh, four or sorry three uh, dark world no more. Uh, I actually take out torrential tribute in place of evenly matched. The reason being is because I'm going second. And or I'm pretty sure I'm going second, and I prefer evenly match over torrential in this case. Even though torrential would have been fine, like I could have left it in, but I just feel like um, because I know that invoke DP is a deck that uses that, that uses a mix of back row and front row, uh, evenly match is going to be more useful. So yeah, this is what I this is my side deck. So let's go into game two. So I do indeed. Whoops, go second. And they have a really good starting hand. Um, so obviously Meltdown grabs Alistair. Alistair 
grabs invocation, link into uh, Almirage, link into Sigarda, make Mecha buff, um, recycle Alistair. So, alright, so at this point, he's going to use Prosperity to uh, send three cards to ex excavate three. There is an Adir Servant, which is probably the card he wanted, although maybe he would have settled for Fusion Destiny as well. Um, the Deer Servant is going to send Ap Cologne to grab uh, Maximus. Ap Cologne grabs Schism. He discards Schism. Ecclesia summons, searches Punishment. Uh, Maximus is going to send Titanic Clad and Construct. So, t so Titanic Clad is obviously to search Fluid Elite in the end phase, and Construct is to uh, recycle Schism to the hand. All right, so let's see what he has. So he sets Punishment, uh, Schism, Cyclone, right? So he, he can make Winda on my main phase. Uh, he can clear, like, banish a back row. Uh, uh, oh, wait. He's, oh, yeah. Titanic hasn't got uh, Florida Lee. So Florida Lee can ba uh, uh, negate a monster effect. Punishment can pop two cards. And Mechaba can negate and banish. So very strong, very strong board, right? However, uh, I haven't even talked about my hand, but my hand is amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I got the best, like, pro arguably one of the best combinations of, of two side deck cards in the game. <laughs> so, you'll never guess what I do on my turn. So, so he, he, he opens, so I don't know why he did this. He flipped Schism. Maybe he thought he could use it in the draw phase. Maybe he's new to the deck. I don't know. But, like, uh, yeah, he should have just kept his hidden because, you know, like, catch me by surprise but like come on we saw his i saw his play with construct it's not like schism is a surprise right i guess it's a surprise like which one of these three was schism like in case i had like cosmic cyclone or something anyway so i draw a solver which is serving which is decent so yeah dark Luna more goodbye front row so now that the his the mechaba omni negate is is turned off uh let's go battle phase and he's gonna banish everything except schism uh, that was probably the right choice. Like, Mechaba was useless, and uh, Schism can still make a Winda play, right? Um, and lock me out of, of, like... Like, I can't go I can't go the Anaconda route because of Schism, because he'll just summon Winda. But I'm just going to Red Eyes Fusion. Like, this is why there's a hard playing Red Eyes Fusion. Sometimes it's just, like, the best way to go, right? Because uh, now, um, if he attempts to Schism, I just negate it, and Schism is dead, right? And... So he, uh, yeah, I just go for uh, Salvation. So when I go to end, he does not Schism. And that's that's a smart move because uh, if if he Schisms now, I negate. And then next turn, I have another negate. Whereas he's waiting to try attempt to Schism next turn so that because, I'll, you know, in that case, I only have one negate, um, he can follow up. He has more follow-up, right? Like, so I know he has Florida Lee in hand, and he has schism right so florida lee can just crash into dragoon and if i negate florida lee summon i he can schism um and he also has alistair so i know he has alistair and i know he has florida lee so he has a lot of ways to out dragoon right now so i know like inevitably my this dragoon is getting outed but that's okay because i have a magicalized fusion in hand so yeah uh everything's gonna be fine as you'll see so he terraformings. He actually grabs Mystic Mine here, which is pretty funny. Uh, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but like um, when I was going through his deck earlier, I did see a Mystic Mine. Actually, let me see if I can see what his what is what his side deck. Okay, so he has Tikaboo, which I did not see before when I was going through this. Uh, Cosmic Cyclones, obviously. I don't see Nibiru's or Drolls anymore, so he probably took those out. Uh, Ariel is a, is a spicy tech. Anyway, um, yeah, so he activates uh, Florida Lee and summons it to the field. And I allow this because, like I said, if I negate Florida Lee, he, sh he schisms, right? Um, and, but in this route, like, in this route, he loses his battle phase, right? If I negate Florida Lee, he schisms, he still has his battle phase. Whereas if I force him um, to. Like just attack me, then he, then yeah, he can make his other plays in main phase too. But his battle phase will be done, right? Um, so yeah. 
So he's going to attack. I couldn't negate here. But if I do that, I'm going to discard a card. And then main phase two, Schism's just going to clear a Dragoon anyway, right? Like, there's no card advantage for me to negate this uh, Florida Lee. Like, because Florida Lee is going to Graveyard no matter what, right? Uh, Dragoon will be, you know, was going to Graveyard no matter what because he has Schism. So there's no point in me discarding a card. Like, keep that in mind. Oftentimes, it's best to just let, accept that Dragoon is dead. No negating will save you and just move move on. So he normals Alistair. Uh, so on, an, on an invocation, I'm going to flip Eternal Soul to get a Dark Magician. Just so I can have a body on the field. I don't want him to bring out Mechaba and then like some, to have a negate for it. So recycle Alistair. So now he's going to Schism. So Winda is the obvious choice. I think he attempts to use... I wouldn't be surprised. He probably attempts to use... Uh, let me see if he does that. Yep. He attempts to send Dark Magician to the graveyard. Because Schism says like after you fusion summon, you can send a monster on your opponent's field to graveyard of the same type. Uh, Eternal Soul makes uh, Dark Magician unaffected by card by uh, effect, uh, card effects, right? So at this point, I have a Dark Magician, and it goes to my turn. So I'm, let's see what I'm gonna draw. Red Eyes Fusion, not great, but not a not a big deal. So the thing is, Dark Magician 2500, Winda is 22, and Mechaba is 25. So I'll, I'm first thought is, oh, I, I should probably attack. I can probably attack into one of them, like oh, attack into Mechaba so that I can like. Because I know he has Mystic Mind in hand. I know he has Alistair. Which means I know he has Negate for spells and for monsters. I don't know if he has a Negate for traps. right? Um, so if I Shotgun Magical Eyes, I come risk him just negating uh, you know, with Mystic Mind, right? So what I do is like... Alright, so if I, try, if I use this Dark Magician to try to attack one of these two, he will chain Alistair to increase their attack, right? However, um, and then, you know, protect that monster. However, I have a souls in hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt, I'm going to send a Dark Magician to the graveyard and attempt to summon Dark Magician, and I'll have two of them, right? So with two 2,500 beaters, like, I'm going to attempt to crash into Mechaba first. Uh, Alistair will, will de would defend it, right? Make it 35. And then my second Dark Magician will crash into, will d attack Winda, right? And once Windows down, I can then play Magical Eyes and make, um, well, although I guess uh, he would still have his, he would still have his Mecha Mendigate, I suppose. Either way, like, it, it's, it, like, I'm okay because I have two Dark Magicians with Eternal Soul to play with. I, I just have to hope that he can't pop this back row. So I know he has Cosmic, uh, do I know he has Cosmic Cyclones? Yeah, I know he has Cosmic Cyclones, but uh, he banished one of them. Small odds of getting the other. The only other way he could pop, let's see. Punishment can send Entis. Uh, but I don't even know if he has more than one Punishment in his deck. Let's see. Alright, so, yeah, so there's a Cyclone. I don't see an... Yeah, I don't see another Punishment. He does have Nadir. Nadir can send Entis. What does he even have in his extra deck? Okay, so he left himself probably the best four cards left in his extra deck. So he does have access to the So yeah, DP or Entis are his ways to pop Eternal Soul or, or the single Cosmic Cyclone, right? But basically, like, I think I have the grind game here because, um, like, if he does discard Alistair to increase to 2,500, uh, I can just, you know, because I have Eternal Soul to recycle, I just have to hope he doesn't draw a trap, right, to negate Eternal Soul. But I can just, like, try to keep attacking until Mechab is dead, and then I can play Magical Eyes. But you'll be surprised to learn uh, he actually uses Mechaba to negate um, my Magician Soul, which is really silly because uh, I put a Dark Magician in the graveyard that I can just, uh, that if I want to, I can revive with Eternal Soul anyway. Maybe he didn't read the card. I don't know. But yeah, th this, is a, this is a bit of a surprise to me. Um, so Magicalize will bring back Dragoon. Dragoon will pop, pop. And attack. Attack. All right, so yeah, my, so I'm obviously in a better board state than I expected, but I still think if I had the double Dark Magician um, going, I would that I would still be in a good spot, I think. All right, so let's see what he draws. I, granted, I still know he has Mystic Mind in hand. And actually, uh, this Schism is worthless now because he doesn't have any more Schism targets. Um, 
because all his Shadal monsters are done. So, all right, let's see what it does. So he draws Prosperity, which is a good top, a great top deck if you're in Dire Straits. The problem is he only he can only banish three because he went through too much of his extra deck already. So Ash, Dasher, and Alistair. Not great. Um, I think he was fish. So let's see what is. It? Yeah, he left DP. He's fishing for Fusion Destiny. Um, he thinks that if he can bring out Fusion Destiny, attempt to pop Eternal Soul, and then like just keep recycling and hope I don't. I use the Dragoon to either negate a DP on field and not in the graveyard. Then maybe he can like stall out or something, or like I don't know. Maybe he can attack uh, Dragoon. Uh, Alistair makes DP stronger, something, uh, something along those lines. Um, and he also has Mystic Mind that uh, he wants me to, he wants to be able to play, right? So I know he has Mystic Mind because he searched it with terraforming. So Alistair, Alistair, so this is clearly a bait. I see that he has one card in the extra deck. Uh, I assume it's DPE. Um, yeah, he grabs Invocation. Yeah, he, yeah, he doesn't have any targets for invocation, so he can't actually use this. That was just to bait Dragoon Negate. So I don't fall for it. He activates Mystic Mind to play the stall game, and I negate it, and he just surrenders. So, how would this game have played out if um, he he uh, did not negate my Magician Souls, right? Um, I would have had two Dark Magicians. I would have probably killed Winda. Or would I? Let me think. Yeah, uh, I think he would have he would have let Winda die over Mechaba cuz it was it was his last Mechaba like yeah, Winda as a floodgate is not that good against my deck like especially once I have the Eternal Soul and I bring I summon one Dark Magician per turn, right? So having Winda on the field is pointless. It can't even attack directly, right? So yeah, he would have allowed me to t kill um Winda and keep Mechab alive. Then this turn, he would have had what? Invocation, which does nothing. Dasher, which does nothing. I mean, maybe he could normal Dasher. But again, like, how is he going to survive the following turn when I have two Dark Magicians and I at attack and destroy his Mechaba, right? Because um, this Alistair would have been in the... Uh, oh, no, uh, would have been in the graveyard. No, no, yeah. No, he just drew this Alistair. So he would have had a second Alistair that he could have stalled with. Uh, yeah, I think I win the grind game here. Like, because his he literally only has DP left, and I still have... Remember, in, in this hypothetical, I still have Magicalize in my hand. I, w I would hold Magicalize as, as long as possible until I knew his Omni Negate on Mechaba was, was gone, right? Um, and then just, like, play around with uh, Double Dark Magician. Yeah, I mean, maybe you could say he misplayed. He should have, like, been more patient and held his Omni Negate, but... Uh, at the end of the day, it didn't matter. Like, I was going to win this game no matter what. I'm pretty sure, uh, given the cards that came out, right? Like, if he had drawn DPE uh, while I had the double Dark Magician, I would have been screwed, but... Um... Although, let me think. Would he have linked... He did have Anaconda. Would he have? Would he have linked Alistair? Okay. I guess an alternative he could have done, if he still had Mechaba, he could have summoned Alistair, searched the thing, linked Mechaba and Alistair into Anaconda. Anaconda summons DPE, right? And then he pops Eternal Soul, and then my two Dark Magicians are gone. But, remember, I still have Magicalize in my hand that I that I can just literally play, because DPE does not have a negate. So, yeah, uh, I don't see any way he could have won this. Um, other than top decking Cosmic Cyclone. Or like Nadir Servant maybe, um, to pop Eternal Soul and hold his Omni his spell Omni Negate. I guess might have been his only path to victory. But I don't know. It was pretty dire for him because like most of extra deck was gone. Uh, three like two pots of prosperities at six cards, plus uh you know obviously he summoned a few like both Mechabuzz and Winda, and then he also uh, sent two cards from um, Maximus. So yeah. Anyway. This is this is the hardest matchup. Uh, maybe you could say I got lucky because I I drew like two blowout cards on turn one. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. Invoke DP is a very annoying deck to play against. 
Uh, even though Ten Tenny Sorcel Tenny is the strongest deck, quote unquote, uh, I'm actually not as I don't know. I'm more annoyed w uh, playing against Invoke DP than I am playing against Sorcel. Like Sorcel doesn't set up that great of a board. Like the, the thing that made Sorcel good is the Tenny and Arch Nemesis Protoss engine. Like the Chi Shao Barone Blackout stuff is like whatever. It's 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 just like a very weak board, it, but it's like the Tenny stuff that really makes Sword Soul shine. Um, but yeah, it's not as obnoxious as Invoke DP. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, hope you all learned, but uh, yeah, it's good to like think about these things while you're dueling. Um, you know, being patient with your cards, like thinking about hypotheticals, or knowing what cards they have, like, oh, what if I do this, what are they going to do? Um, yeah, and he did, and my opponent did do that to some extent, but uh, ended up not mattering. So, alright, anyway, um, alright, uh, thanks for watching, and see y'all in the next video.